see if he can get it in a live game this year. That's what we're looking forward to. I just want to see him in a live game this year for more uh, than we, four snaps. It does not appear that we're going to see him in the preseason no. for a live game. However, Aaron, um, Robert Sala left the door open for the possibility of that third game on August 24th. They have uh, three They have three joint practices, and so there's, they're going to have lots of opportunity for him to get yes, work. Yes, the Washington okay. Commanders will be up here for a joint practice okay. with the Jets next week. In the meantime, they practiced against one another uh, here in Florham Park, and I thought he, Aaron Rodgers looked as, as sharp as I've ever seen him. Um, yeah. uh, moving around well, uh, delivering the ball exactly where he wanted to. It's a, it, you know, you go around and you, you go from camp to camp and you see how the quarterback play is. And then when you see it happen on this level, you can really appreciate it for what it is as far as his ability to see what's happening and not only get the ball to the right place, but literally deliver it to the right place. Yeah, there was a pass uh, when they were doing red zone work um, to the pylon. I think it was Tyler Conklin who caught it. Uh, it, and it was in such a perfect location. Uh, he just put it there. Um, Tyler Conklin put his hands up, and there was the ball. It, his ability to place the ball exactly where he wants it to go is remarkable. And then he spent a lot of time doing this, talking to coaches, talking to his teammates, coaching everybody up. There's a lot of that going on. We saw it last year, too, in training camp. Um, he's doing it again. Uh, and that is a really big component of having Aaron Rodgers on this team. You know who I thought right? was spectacular in practice awesome. today, Judy? I thought Morgan Moses was phenomenal. And, uh, Welcome back. I know. It's fun to be back. It's fun to be back. It was it was your first practice in training camp today, right? Yep, first practice. It, it, you know, how does the body feel at this point in your career? Uh, and, and how does it feel to be back here with the Jets? I mean, it feels fantastic, you know, just to be back, be out there running. It's like a kid riding a bike, you know. You never forget how to ride the bike, right? But you enjoy the time out here. And then um, being back, man, is uh, phenomenal. Because when I left here, I felt like I had so much unfinished business. And so be able to come back and see how the roster is taking place and shaped up and have Aaron, right? Like Aaron's a hella, Aaron's the bro. We were just talking about him. Hell, like, give hell of us. a guy, man. Hell of a guy. Like, like we talk about the one percent in the league all the time, right? But like Aaron's in that one percent, but he makes everybody better around him, right? He challenges everybody every day, and when you do that, man, it raises the IQ of everybody. So being out there today and just kind of like learning from him, being in the huddle and then having Tyron out there, I mean, you can't ask for a better situation. Yeah, Tyron Smith, the left, the uh, the left tackle there, got Judy. You obviously saw what happened last year to the Jets and to Aaron. So how how is this off? offensive line feeling about the responsibility of protecting him this year? And, you know, that's what we do. You know, we got to protect him. We got to keep him upright. You know, we know what our defense can do. We've seen what the defense can do all last year. Um, and for, you know, Aaron to come out here healthy and just rejuvenated and running around laughing and teaching guys, man. And, and it's fun, man. Everybody's getting better because he, uh, he makes everybody better around him. And so, um, you know, we get challenged every day out there with our defense and how they fly around, and, you know, all the all the different talents that they have out there. And so it's iron sharp as iron when we go out there every day. So you said that, you know, he, he can talk to you and, and help you uh, and, and let you know, like, like what's he, he's not telling you how to pass set or how, you know, what, what is he helping you do as a tackle? I mean, he just sees the game a lot faster than a, than a a lot of other people do you know um whether it's the the, the, ro the safety rotations or he's like hey man this guy's coming this guy's dropping we're going to get in this protection you know the way he he operates every day he expects greatness out of himself and he expects greatness out of everybody else and i think when you when you do that you know um you make everybody better around you you know i think i heard him say like g5 was running around he was like hey if the safety drops make sure you just stand right in the middle of the field and so when you say that to a guy like he's like huh but when he actually does it and he sees that it works he's like okay like, I see the game how he's seeing the game, right? And that's the beauty of it all, man. You see the game how he sees it. If there's any concern about the offensive line, it's that you guys are a little bit older. And hey, 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 ho, ho. It's not personal at all. <laughs> there's a couple but, of grays. But, I got a right, little bit salt and pepper in the beard. But, uh, you know, how how do you guys um, make sure you stay on the field? Because that is certainly was an issue last year with the offensive line. How do you stay on the field and make sure you're intact as a unit? again to protect Aaron? Um, you know, I think it starts with just guys, you know, um, the daily grind, right? Like, and just not just being selfish to yourself and, you know, keeping the, the remedies of how you've been able to stay on the on the field by yourself, but just passing it down to guys like Olu and things like that. But I think the most important thing is, like, guys are coming in, like Tyron and, and myself and John Simpson and AVT and who I played with AVT when he was a rookie. And so, and just to see how he's taken off over the years, right? And, like, to have a guy like Olu come in there and just really, like, 
ask questions, right, and feel comfortable enough to ask questions. Because a lot of guys come in there and just say, I'm going to be quiet. I mean, you know, I'm a rookie. I'm not going to say anything. But when you got veteran presence like Tyron and myself and the AVT and John Simpson, and you can come in there and say, hey, like, how do you do this? How, how do you see this? It helps everybody else out. And so, um, and I told somebody the other day, I said, like, you know, there's things that Olu has done that we haven't done because, we, you know, we've been in the league for 11 and 13 years, you know, and, he, and the game has changed in college, right? So we also take things from him as well. Like, so it's a learning, it's a revolving door for all of us. When the season happens the way that it did last year for the Jets, and, and you weren't here, but uh, the way it just went, poof. Mm -hmm. in a matter of a moment and and you guys are now charged with making sure that that doesn't happen again what's the conversation amongst the offensive linemen with regard to th th see that that's precious cargo right behind yeah, us yeah nobody touches the cargo yeah 100 percent. i i think you see that after practice right like like tyron and myself we go out there and we grab guys every day and we work on something after practice for 30 minutes and right and that's just like the tension of the details like hey when you're tired and you don't have anything left in the tank let's go work on some more technique right because in the fourth quarter, like, you know, as offensive linemen, we don't have the luxury to come off the field. Like, you know, it's no substitute. Like, hey, coach, I'm tired. Like, you got to fight through it. So, like, those techniques that we're learning from Tyron and we're talking about football after practice, those are those things that account in the fourth quarter when everybody's tired and, hey, it's time to take over the game. And so having a guy like Tyron that's been in those positions, you know, like myself and been in those positions over the years, um, it's, our, it's our job to pass the torch and, and make everybody feel like, hey, like, this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to operate. And we're going to operate five equals one. Look, you, you were with this franchise, so you know how long the wait has been. Yeah. You know how long the drought has been. From when you left and now you're back, like, where is this team now compared to where it has been? A hundred percent. I think I said this before I left, you know, um, I said winning's around the corner, right? And it, it really was just a couple of guys that we had to get on the roster to make that happen, right? And the next year they drafted Sauls, Brees, and Jermaine in, the G, in, in, in G5, right? Hell of a players, you know, and so, you know, they got that right. And then he got an Aaron in, you got Aaron in there. And so and it was sad to see what happened to Aaron last year. But now, you know, seeing him run around, he's pepped up, you know, rejuvenated. He's ready to go. He's teaching guys. Um, you know, the, the, it, there's no more time to wait. We got to get it right. We got to start fast. Um, and we can take advantage of a lot of things, you know, especially with Aaron back there at quarterback. He, he definitely, you said that. I mean, I'm, I'm out here watching him. And it's not to say that he wasn't engaged last year, but he just looks like, there's like an urgency yeah. to I, him this year. I think that, you know, for, for, for us guys that's been in the league for 10 plus years, you know, the time is ticking for all of us. Yeah. You know, like Tyron, Tyron said this before. He said, man, like, I want to win the Super Bowl, right? Like, I've been to the playoffs. I know what that feels like. You know, I played at a high level, and the only thing I'm missing is the Super Bowl. And for a lot of guys on this team, time is ticking. You know, even the younger guys like Quinnen, who's like in year six or seven, but he's, you know, he's done a lot of losing here. He, he's, he wants to flip the switch, too. So, like, it's not just all of, it's not just the older guys. It's all of us here. That's been here for a while, or has been here and then came back. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of things, a lot of expectations through from from all of us as individuals, but collectively as a team, we're all on the same page. Uh, how tall are you? Six six. six, six. <laughs> so we're on we're, we're on, on a, a riser. We're on a riser, <laughs> seated on a chair, and yet we're st we're looking eye to eye. Hey, look, man, it's it's a good feeling. The weather's a lot different up here. I was gonna say you're living in, you're living in a different world here, but uh, it's a handsome world. You Always, look great. Man. Thank you, man. Great to see you smiling. Great to see you. Thank you. I appreciate Welcome back. It. Welcome back to Florham Park. Uh, join us again, and, and next time we'll get your chair. How about hey, that? Hey, look, no problem at all, man. I appreciate you guys. All right, Morgan. Yes, thank sir. you, bro. Yes, Stay healthy. Good luck this upcoming season. Morgan Moses joining us here on Inside Training.